I'm Steve, and this is re-unboxing the 4K HDMI dummy plug. I say re-unboxing because I forgot to click record the first time I went through this. So what we have here is a $12 two-pack of HDMI dummy plugs that I bought from a generic brand on Amazon. When it showed up, it looks like it's a brand called buyminers.ca because I guess crypto miners probably use these to plug them into GPUs so that they look like they have monitors so that they can do crypto mining on those GPUs so that they're like active. Um, but what I'm going to be using this for is a little different. It's going to be plugging into a virtual machine that's GPU enabled and then using this HDMI dummy plug to make that VM think it has a monitor connected. And then I'm going to stream via looking glass back to the host operating system. So if that's something you're interested in, definitely subscribe or check out that video if it's already coming. But uh, real quick, I'm just going to run through the uh, testing this dummy plug to see if it can do everything I need it to do to be able to start running through that looking glass setup. So let's get started. First, I've got this dummy plug. In an ideal world, it would be totally flush so that I could plug it into the laptop and just leave it in forever and it wouldn't ever snag on anything. But um, it's pretty small. It's less than the size of a quarter you can see here. But um, yeah, let's go ahead and check out the display situation on my laptop currently. Currently, I have one display plugged in and then nothing else plugged into the laptop. So I will go ahead and plug this into the HDMI port on the laptop. And you could see it recognized the second display. So we have one display, which is the primary laptop output, which is currently at 1920 by 1080, and it's set to output at 60 hertz. I'm going to go ahead and up this to 144 hertz because that's better. Let's go ahead and keep that change and go back. And then we can see here is the 1920 by 1080 HDMI dummy plug. You can see it's about the same size. So let's check the resolutions. 1920 by 1080 was the default. Um, I can come in here and we can see 4K is an option. So let's go ahead and set that and keep those changes. You can see now the fake output that's going out this dummy plug is 4K pixels. So I can go ahead and switch that back down to 1920 by 1080. And let's keep that change. And because I'm going to be streaming from inside the virtual machine outputting to this dummy plug to this main display, I want to be able to do 1920 by 1080 at 144 hertz in the VM out the dummy plug. So let's check which refresh rates are available. 60 hertz. 120 hertz is an option. Let's go ahead and keep that. But... I said that I wanted to be able to do 144 hertz to match the main display here. So let's see if I can set up a custom resolution using NVIDIA Control Panel. So we can open up Control Panel and it's just a few clicks here. If this is the first time you open up Control Panel, there, there will be some kind of terms of service you have to accept. And then we can come in here and create a custom profile for our display output. I'll go ahead and create custom resolution. And if this is your first time doing this, it will make you acknowledge that this is a dangerous thing to do. I'm assuming it's only dangerous to the monitor, and the monitor is a $6 thing I bought on Amazon, so I'm okay with that risk. There might also be some sort of risk to your graphics card or to the hardware, but I'm willing to accept that to test this out for you guys. So let's go ahead and create a profile with 144 hertz and test that. Test successful. Do you want to save this? Yes, I would like to save this resolution. And so now we have this custom resolution created on the display. My mouse is working. I can hit OK. And then to activate this custom resolution, we need to go back here to our Windows settings. And you can see it doesn't show up under this regular dropdown. But if we go into Display Adapter Properties, then I can go into Monitor. And as long as I don't have this hide box checked, the new 144 hertz unsupported resolution shows up. So I'll go ahead and click apply and keep the changes and hit OK. So now we see display 2, which is connected to our graphics card, is 1920 by 1080 at 144 hertz. 
So it looks like this cheap little $6 dummy plug is going to do what I need it to do for me to be able to pass my graphics card into a virtual machine, output 144 hertz to the dummy plug, and then stream that back to the host operating system, which is going to be Linux. So if you're interested in seeing that, definitely subscribe. But if not, I hope this was interesting. Maybe you're looking to buy one of these dummy plugs and you wanted to see it in action and this was useful to you. But yeah, thank you for watching and don't forget to stay bland.